All right, guys, this one will be quick but powerful. As the title suggested, we're going to talk about a really cool strategy to, to target and market to expired homeowners. It's a little bit different. Probably haven't seen this before, but it's pretty powerful. So the strategy goes like this. When you wake up and you go to your MLS and you see that there's been some expireds, let's say Monday morning you wake up, there's three. Of the three, there's one that really stands out to you as a professional marketing real estate agent that really looks like a target for you because maybe the agent took some really bad pictures. Like the one I'm going to show you actually is on the MLS and these pictures, I was like, Holy macaroni, I cannot believe that an agent actually does. This must be like an iPhone 2 that they took the picture with, right? And you never start a description with location, 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 right? So you can take something like this and really highlight what I call the deficiencies of the last marketer, right? And highlight those and juxtapose those to what you do that's different in a way that no other agent's doing. Right now, here's how expired homeowners are getting marketed to. Ring, ring. Hey, Mr. Smith, Kelly with Hoopy Doopy Realty. Notice your home is no longer for sale. Click. Right. Mr. Smith is going to get like 20 of those tomorrow, right? Um, he's going to get, you know, if, if, if you're like me, I also get access to their email addresses. So he's going to get some emails, maybe some direct mail postcards, right? I'm going to show you something completely different. And you literally could could send it Monday morning and he'll get it probably Tuesday afternoon, right? So you get a jump on everybody. And the 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 basic premise of this is to just highlight what you feel as a professional real estate agent and local marketing expert, what you felt like maybe the last marketing agent didn't do to expose the home properly, right? And you're not gonna bang on the last agent, but you're going to make sure that you plant the seed uh, to this individual. So let me share with you my screen right now. And here's an example in the MLS of something I found about an hour ago, right? So here we are, let me make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Look, look at this picture, look at these pictures guys. And there's only 19. Guys, you know, you can put like 80 pictures in the MLS now, like 70 plus. I can't even see that. You know, and, and here's the thing, if you're an agent, and you're using an iPhone negative two, an iPhone one to take pictures, stop it for God's sake. Go spend the money, get you an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let me tell you, my Pro Max takes amazing pictures. Like when I don't hire a professional photographer, yes, I'm telling some of you don't judge me. I'll go to the comments and go, oh my God, you don't hire a professional. I do. But sometimes if it's, especially if it's under 500K, I might go in there and shoot the pictures with my phone. And I'm going to tell you right now, between that and something like box brownie, my freaking pictures are amazing. But if my pictures were like this, I would pay the money to hire a professional. So this is something you can accent and highlight. And basically the concept is Mr. Seller, first impressions are all you get. And if this is all a buyer is seeing, and this is, this is, this is not a good first impression, Right. So, um, you know, there's your there's your uh, your description that even use up the entire space for it starts with locations. So all of this is now prime for me to point out some of the reasons why I think the home didn't sell. So here's the concept. You're going to download this MLS sheet as a JPEG. Then you're going to upload it. And let me see if I can come over here and find it. Perfect. Check this out, guys. I then uploaded it into Canva. And I was able to go ahead and here's what it looks like. This is the actual letter that I'm going to print and send. Uh, and I'm going to, I actually printed a copy over there. Um, but I'm not going to get up and go and get it because this is what it looks like. Guys, this is the actual print from the MLS. Now watch this. Hello, mister. And I'm going to put his name on there. Guys, you can go to the MLS, go to the tax records. You got his name. Hello, Mr. Smith. Homes fail to sell because of lack of planning and a poor targeted marketing plan. Before you put it back on the market, let's get together and talk about why it failed to sell and how to correct it. There's my name, branding, phone number. First thing, poor pictures can lead to bad offers or no offers. Description, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop, if this is on YouTube, I'm going to put a the Canva template for this there. So you can grab it, upload it to Canva, and you can actually have this as a, uh, a, a guide for you to do these things. Guys, this took me less than five minutes, right? Poor pictures can lead, and I put these little arrows, and look at this, description can make or break showings. Location, 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 right? And then as we go down, look, 
I found out that this agent was lazy and they only put like four rooms and these are probably not even correct. And he's probably gotten a description buyers are, um, you know, it's their responsibility to check. When you, when you say something like buyers are responsible to check for the measurements, that's a lazy agent because what you're saying is I really didn't measure it. So, you know, it's on you. Right. And how am I, if, if I'm, I've got a buyer I'm working with right now that is very specific. They want specific size bedrooms. They want a bedroom downstairs for their mother the, uh, an elderly mother to be able to live that has a bathroom. Well, I would never be able to tell that from this house. I would have to call the agent. So look, you need to let buyers know about all rooms and dimensions. And I, I can't even spell right. So I did this so quickly, guys. I apologize. But anyway, looks, looks like you only have four rooms. There's an arrow. There's an arrow. Then when I scooted down to the second page, I went ahead and deleted the information on here. That would be the um, uh, seller agent and phone, all of that. I just got rid of that. Um, shows the compensation, but look at this, scan this QR code. Now guys, if you want to pause the video right now, grab your phone and scan that. That's an actual example of my marketing plan. Check it out. It's got a video and then below it's got multiple ways to contact me. And then it has a downloadable ebook on my entire marketing plan, which is freaking phenomenal. Check it out. Tell me what you think about that. When you scan it, drop a comment below after you scan it and tell me, did you think that was a killer site or did you think it was hokey? Hopefully you think it's killer because I think it is. Anyway, I digress. There's my branding, right? And then all I need to do is come over here and print. Put this thing in a letter and send it to the expired homeowner. So guys, that is next level marketing to expired. You can even do it for Fizbo's. I mean, you the sky's the limit. Right. Fizbo is obviously you're not going to have an MLS, but you could print their uh, their Zillow listing and do a Zillow audit on a letter. Hey, I think if you're selling your home as a Fizbo, you should do this, this and this and uh, contact me at for more information on how to market your home as you're selling without a realtor. Right. I mean, good God, the stuff you can do with that. Uh, but again, guys, there it is. The expired ninja. We're going to call it the outlaw mailer for you guys to send to these expired completely different. Now, I'm going to follow this up with an email campaign and a five-week postcard campaign with other offers and other goodies along the way. But what a killer letter to send, right? Everybody else is calling and pissing them off. You've got a letter that has a website with free eBooks, right? And some, some idea of maybe why their home didn't sell, which is really, they're thinking, man, we listed this home with, you know, Jennifer, Bob, Smith, June, uh, you know, Robbie, Kelly, whatever. And it just didn't sell, right? So they are a little bit upset about it. And the whole thought of why didn't it sell is literally just sitting in their front cerebral cortex, right? It's there. And along comes your letter. All right. That's it, guys. Just wanted to drop that on. It's a very quick video today. Uh, what'd you think about it? Did you like it? All right, look below in the description. I'll put this letter with spelling errors and all down there for you to have as a Canva template. You can use it as a kind of a guidepost for you to do this kind of stuff. And come back to this, uh, come back to this video when you do this and let me know. Just drop some comments and let me know if you've had anybody respond to you, right? Um, now, last thing I'm gonna say, if you are a real estate agent and you feel like you're, you are not meeting the goals that you wanna meet, you are not hitting the deals that you wanna hit and you feel like your business is stuck, Look below in the description, get on my calendar. Let's take a deep dive into your business, how we can structure it to get you to 10X or 20X your current uh, production, how you can start closing more deals. Guys, if you're not closing at least 15 deals, if you're not making $100,000 more a year, I feel your pain. Even in 2023, yes, I'm dating the video, um, You know, agents are, are crushing it right now. People are selling homes, people are buying homes. So if you want to have that deep dive, if you want to find out what it means to partner with a group that actually is doing it, that that the majority of the people, a good majority of the agents in that group are all out selling. If you want to have that conversation and find out about the power partnership, then get on my link below, schedule a private Zoom. Guys, I am not going to force, coerce, or pressure you to do anything. But if you want to have that conversation and you're really open to looking, to literally opening up the books, if you will, to your business and finding out what you're doing that might not be working and what you can do that can work. And then finding out what it means to actually partner with a group that is progressive and has systems in play that help agents go out there and get deals, get on that calendar with me. Okay. All right. That's it for this one. Tell me what you thought about the video. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.